There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, and maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> oh, can you hear that? That sounds like you go and me go. Let's go and see what's happening. Ready? Then off we go. <laughs> oh, hello there. It's a special day today. <laughs> And Hugo and Miko are helping me. <laughs> hello, Uncle Roly. Oh. Oh, 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 hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that it's a special day today. You go, Migo, we, we go, Amigo. Let's a go, go. Hello there, little Bo. Hello, you two. What are you up to? Helping Rowley, of course. But why? Because... <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, we don't know, little Bo. Oh, because it's Rocket's birthday today. <gasps> Rocket's birthday? <gasps> Rocket's birthday? <laughs> Rocket's birthday! <laughs> That's right. And that's why we're wrapping his present up. <gasps> his present? <gasps> his present? <gasps> his present! <laughs> yes, his present. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and finish off the apple crumble cake. Mm, that's one of Rocket's favourite things. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something special to give Rocket to. That's a fabulous idea, little Bo. Delicioso! Munchy crunchy! The thing is, what are we going to give him? Hmm. Maybe your busy book can help. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo! What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, Pom's trundle truck. And that's Little One. A shimmy shaker. And an apple. Yummity yum. This game is about things that go together. What does Fimbo go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or Little One? Or the shimmy shaker? Or the apple? Fimbo goes with his shimmy shaker. Look, here's Flory. What does Flory go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or little one? Or the apple? Oh, Flory goes with little one. Hello, Baby Pom. What does Baby Pom go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or the apple? Baby Pom goes with the trundle truck. I wonder who goes with the apple. Me, me, me! <laughs> it's Rocket. Rocket goes with the apple. Happy birthday, Rocket! Well, I know what I'm going to give Rocket for his birthday. This! It's your birthday today. Hip, 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 hooray! It's your birthday today. It's a very special day. It's your birthday today. And we just came to say... Happy birthday!
Yamma tea, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I'm going to give to Rocket. What's that? A bibby. A, a bib? bib? Yes. But Rocket's big. He doesn't need a bibby. He does, because he's going to be eating in apple crumble cake. Lots of it. All over the place. Very messy. All right, then. Go and get Bibby. <gasps> Bibby? Yes, we need her. Uh, but I'm not giving Bibby to Rocket. Oh, I know. We just need to borrow Bibby for a moment. Oh. <laughs> you go. We're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. Righty-ho. <gasps> Here's Bibby. Thank you, Miko. Paper, please, Hugo. Uh, paper. Thank you. Bibby? Bibby? Thank you. Pencil? Pencil. Now then, we're just going to draw round here. And... Mooly mo, there you go. Here's Bibby, Miko. <gasps> Bibby! And one more Bibby coming up. You just need to decorate it now, Miko. <laughs> just going to tear this round like this. Well, Rocket should be here any moment now. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, there he is now. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Hippity-hoppity-hoo! How'd ya diddly-doo! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Rocket! Rocket. Ooh, I say thank you. We've all got presents for you, Rocket. <laughs> Here's mine! It's a bibby! Oh, tippity toppity Migo, my very own Bibby. In case you spill your apple crumble cake! Apple crumble cake? Apple crumble cake? I am the apple crumble cake eating frog! <laughs> uh, can I sing you my present? It's a song. Oh, yes, please. Oh. <laughs> It's your birthday today. Hip, 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 hooray! It's your birthday today. It's a very special day. It's your birthday today. And we just came to say... Happy birthday to you today! Happy birthday! And there's another special present. Oh, what is it? What is it? Well, as a birthday treat, you can come to the library with me to find it. Story time with Rowley Mo. Our, Our favourite time, time of day. day. We'll be back in a rockety mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book Who knows what you will see When you take a look inside a book It's fun as fun can be With cats and dogs and birds and frogs A monkey who says boo Ooh, Wonderful things, giants and kings And maybe a thimble or two 
Now, what have we here? Oh, oh, when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A special birthday story just for me, please. Ah, tippity toppity. Would you like to read the story today, Rocket? I certainly would. Thank you, Rowley. At home. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. 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 Good. Then I'll begin. Baby Martha was nearly one year old. Her brother Josh wanted her to have a birthday party. But Mum said no. Martha doesn't understand birthdays, she explained. She's too little to have a party. Josh was very disappointed. He wanted to do something really special for his baby sister. Josh and Mum went shopping to buy Martha's presents. Josh chose a pink cuddly rabbit with soft floppy ears. On the way home, Josh thought about Martha's birthday. I bet you'd like to go to a party, he whispered to the rabbit. Suddenly, he had a brilliant idea. The next day was Martha's birthday. She wanted to play with Josh, but he was busy doing something in his bedroom and he wouldn't let anyone see, not even Mum or Dad. Please, can you blow this balloon up? Josh asked Mum. What do you want it for? It's a secret, replied Josh, and he dashed back into his bedroom. A little later, he came out again. Have we got any ribbon? he asked Dad. What do you want it for? Wait and see, answered Josh. At last, Josh was ready. He threw open the door. His bedroom was decorated with streamers and balloons, and all of Martha's toys were sitting in a big circle. It's party time, he cried. Martha went straight to the pink cuddly rabbit and gave it a big hug. Dada, she said. I think that means thank you, smiled Dad. Mum brought in the cake and everyone sang happy birthday to Martha. Then Josh helped Martha unwrap the rest of her presents. Martha didn't understand any of it, but she had a lovely time. And everyone agreed that Josh had given her the best birthday party ever! Lovely! And I've got one more present to give you. Another present? For me? For little Rockety Me? Yes. Happy birthday, Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes! It's been a roly moly day! You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Look it. Yes, we go. I'll show you how to get your bibby all yummity and grubby. But I don't want to get my bibby all yummity and grubby. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you no, do. No, we don't. You do. Do I? Yes. <laughs>